Hey everybody, Holistic Travel Guy here, finally back with my latest update. Wow, it's been a long time since I posted an update here on YouTube. And we're going to start right here with the software that I'm using to record my computer screen. I downloaded this a while ago. I finally figured out how to use it. And it's called OBS Studio. And it's the website is obsproject.com right here. I'm going to put a link for this software in the, in the description below. You can download it right here. And it allows me to record my whole computer screen, including all these open tabs that I'm going to show you today. And including having my pretty little face down here in the corner. I'm so happy I can be on the screen with all these tabs that I want to describe. So next we're going to go to here, an El Camino update. As many of you know, I was planning to walk the El Camino de Santiago de Compostela this spring in northern Spain. However, that trip got postponed because of COVID-19. Back then we knew the, the illness as coronavirus. Now it's been upgraded to COVID-19. And this is posted today, July 27th. Europe fears coronavirus second wave amid spikes in Spain, France, and Germany. And the um, specifics on Spain in the week from July 18th to the 24th, Spain recorded a 90% increase in new infections from the previous week earlier. New cases in Spain began to rise sharply around early June, and most of the recent new cases were reported in the northeast region of Catalonia, which is where I was flying into and which is where the El Camino goes through to begin the El Camino journey. Let's just um, scroll back up here and take a look and see what our favorite Major League Baseball first pitch thrower outer has to say. Dr. Anthony Fauci. I, I'm not even sure we're halfway through. We he says he's not even sure if we're halfway through. All right, we'll take a look at more of that video later. Next, we're going to move on to the John Lewis funeral being uh, happening in Washington, D.C. today. I was just watching it live on the news a few minutes ago on TV and his body crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge uh, earlier today. And I actually began to cry when his body came into the rotunda at the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. And as his family and friends entered the room to hear speeches by politicians, I started crying and my heart goes out to the family and survivors of John Lewis. One of the greatest politicians this country's ever seen. And next we're going to go on to, uh, let's jump back to the El Camino, to my airline that I was booked with, that I, I'm rebooked with. Um, Air Europa has given me a travel voucher. It has terrible conditions. Um, they require me to use the travel voucher before December 1st, 2020. The Air Europa... Um, vouchers for future travel are much worse conditions than airlines here in the U.S. Um, friends of mine have received vouchers that are good until the spring of 2021. So I rebooked about a month ago before this current uh, surge in cases happened and I rebooked for mid-September and now with this current situation here second wave happening in spain and there's talk that parts of europe including spain might shut down again i don't have very high hopes of being able to travel on september 15th to spain to walk the el camino next we're going to go to a major league baseball update speaking of dr anthony fauci throwing out throwing out the first pitch for the MLB um, season this year started just three days ago and already um, the MLB is considering 
um, pausing the season. Two MLB games postponed as the Miami Marlins deal with a COVID-19 outbreak. And this special report posted two hours ago, the MLB hasn't had talks of pausing season amid Marlins COVID-19 outbreak. Well, duh, um, you know, they're supposedly in a strict bubble of uh, only players and coaches in this bubble for major league sports. Are they going to stay in the bubble? Who knows? I doubt it. I have serious doubts that this season will last much longer because of the um, restrictions on players are just not realistic. They're not going to be able to follow all the rules to contain the virus in these bubbles. And that leads us into our next tab, our next story in the news lately. Teachers Union sues Florida Governor DeSantis over ordering schools to reopen amid coronavirus outbreak. And here's a video associated with this story as well. Um, you know, folks, the students, as we know, are at low risk. And you think Governor DeSantis would have figured that out. It's not the students that are at risk in this situation. It's the teachers and the parents. The students might not get uh, terribly sick from COVID-19 if they contract it when they go back to school. But the teachers and the parents are older and so are their grandparents of these kids and that's going to spread like wildfire as soon as one kid gets COVID-19 in school in a local school here in Florida there's going to be 150 kids infected before anybody even knows that the first child was infected so governor De De governor DeSantis a uh, no-brainer why do you have to wait for a lawsuit to consider closing Florida, Florida schools? Why not just be reasonable and close them from the get-go? Because this is a no-win situation. Kids are going to get sick. Teachers are going to get sick. Parents are going to get sick. And grandparents are going to get sick. It's going to spread like wildfire. So hopefully the... Authorities will come to their senses, especially Governor DeSantis, who's actually ordering that schools reopen. All right, that's it for today's update. I'm going to keep it short. I've covered all these tabs with my new OBS Studio software. I downloaded and I can have my pretty little face down in the corner from now on. We'll see you next time here on the Holistic Travel Guide channel. Thanks for watching.